Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to band the rows to color alternate rows within your data range. This is an oldie but a goodie. Uh, I did a post on this uh, well over a year ago, but I thought I'd kind of refresh that and go through a little better explanation of how it works. So let's take a look. Here I have a data range, and you can see if I go down to the end, we have 427 rows, and I want to band it so every other row is a different color or is colored in with a fill uh, so that it's easier to follow the data across. Now, one very simple and easy way to do this is just to convert your data range to a table and I'll put in my notes below a um, link to a previous podcast I did about all the benefits of tables over data ranges and there's several that is very worthwhile to consider when you're working with a, uh, a large set of data to convert it to a table but if you want to convert this to a table all you have to do is click anywhere in your data range assuming it's set up properly with no blank rows or columns and a unique headers above each column and hit the keyboard shortcut control T Excel will put uh, the marquee around your whole data range you make sure you have my table has headers checked say OK and now it's converted to a table and then you can click the table styles and choose any of the colors you want and you can see how it will band those rows in an alternate color to make it easy to view I'm going to hit control Z to undo that and take it back to a regular data range so the alternate way is to use conditional formatting so I'm going to highlight my data range and then from the home tab click on conditional formatting and go to new rule and then select use a formula to determine which cell to format and I'm going to enter the formula equals mod parentheses row open and close parentheses comma two close parentheses there and then I'll just choose my format for fill I'm just going to use uh, that color green, say OK, and OK, and now you can see every other row of my data range has banded with the color green that I select. So let's take a couple minutes and go through the process to see how this formula works. I'm just going to type here the formula we used, mod, parentheses, row, open and close parentheses, comma, two, close that for mod and there's the formula that we used we use two different functions the mod function and the row function so first of all the row function if I type equals row open and close parentheses and hit enter and I'll just copy that down a little ways here you'll see what that does is return the row number we're on row 6 here we're on row 14 row 23 so that's what the row function did is just provide consecutive numbers in that whole range of the row number that we're in now if we look at the mod formula equals mod mod returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor so if we use the row number as the number and 2 as the divisor and I hit enter you'll see I get a 0 or I get a 1 and why is that well if we take this row number and divide it by 2 you'll see that any place where there's a 0 in this formula that's because the number evenly divided by the number 2 that we indicated and left no remainder so any remainder at all, any number other than zero, will return a one, which is a true in if for Excel. If there was no remainder, it would give you a zero, which is a false. So any place there was a false, your conditional formatting would not work, for example, in row six. But in row seven, where there was a remainder, that was a number other than zero, so that returned a one in conditional formatting in Excel, which then said that must be true, so we'll apply the conditional formatting. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. 
So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.